On September 17, 1859, San Francisco witnessed an extraordinary event that would forever be etched in the annals of American history. Joshua Abraham Norton, a failed businessman, declared himself Norton I, Emperor of the United States. Yes, you heard that right, Emperor. But who was this enigmatic figure, and what led him to crown himself as America's only monarch? Joshua Norton was born in England in 1818 and later moved to South Africa with his family. Eventually, he found his way to San Francisco during the gold rush, hoping to strike it rich. Initially, Norton did find success, amassing a significant fortune. However, a disastrous business deal in Rice left him bankrupt and disillusioned. It was in this state of despair that Norton reinvented himself, not as a broken man, but as an emperor. With a flourish of grandeur, Norton issued a decree to the newspapers proclaiming himself Emperor Norton I of the United States and Protector of Mexico. Surprisingly, the people of San Francisco embraced his newfound title with open arms. Norton became a beloved local figure, and his eccentricities were met with affection rather than ridicule. He roamed the city streets in a regal blue uniform adorned with gold-plated epaulets, a beaver hat atop his head, and a walking stick in hand. Norton issued numerous decrees, some whimsical, some surprisingly visionary. He called for the abolition of Congress and the construction of a bridge to connect San Francisco and Oakland, a vision that would later become the iconic Bay Bridge. Norton's reign was marked by his unwavering commitment to justice and equality. He issued a proclamation declaring the use of the N-word punishable by a $25 fine, reflecting his progressive views on racial equality. Though Norton had no real political power, his influence was undeniable. Local businesses accepted his self-issued currency, and he dined for free at some of the city's finest establishments. When his uniform began to show signs of wear, the San Francisco Board of Supervisors funded a new one, acknowledging his unique role in the community. Norton I passed away on January 8, 1880. His funeral was a grand affair, attended by over 10,000 citizens, a fitting tribute to a man who had become San Francisco's cherished emperor. Today, Joshua Norton remains a symbol of individuality and the power of imagination, a testament to a man who dared to dream beyond the conventional. Want to dive deeper into the fascinating life of Emperor Norton? Check out the links in the description and the first pinned comment to find books that explore his story in greater detail. Thank you for joining us today at Sapien Spectrum Channel. It was a privilege to share this slice of history with you. We hope it sparked a flame of curiosity and a desire to learn more about the tapestry of human experience. For further exploration, don't forget to visit the links in the description and first pinned comment. If you found today's journey enlightening, please like, share, and subscribe for your daily dose of history and humanity's fundamental subjects. Until tomorrow, keep pondering, keep exploring, and remember, our past is the prologue to our future. Farewell and take care.